Today we're going to be doing a rotisserie chicken on a new Monument Grill. Now this is the first cook we've done on it. The only thing I've done to that Monument Grill is I put it together, heated it up to burn any of the oils and stuff on it, got it good and hot. But we're going to see how it turns out. Who knows? It may turn out great and it may not. But we're going to find out together. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope I earned your subscription today. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. So let's get after it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to tie our bird up. Keeps it all together. That way we don't have pieces flopping all over the place. Now, I'm no expert at this, but I'm going to try to get it tied up. So we're going to go around the legs first. Just kind of do it like this. And then we're going to just cross them over. Like that. Then we're going to just going to pull them in tight. Now, we're going to just, once we get them pulled in tight, we're going to hold it tight, run it down just like this. And we're going to turn it over. And now we're going to tie it right here. Like I say, I'm no expert at this, but I know we just need to keep this bird's limbs from flopping all over the place while it's on that rotisserie. Now we're just gonna tie a knot right there. Now then, now we're just gonna run it down like this. Just like this. And we're just going to grab both of these wings, just like that. And we'll get them adjusted once we get them in here. And now we're going to tie them again. So just tie them square knots in it. It's not as easy to do as you think it is with these gloves on. But we'll get it. There we go. Now then. Get it just like that. Okay, now that we've got it all trussed up, or we got it all tied up, we're gonna trim these ends off right here. Like I say, if I can do it, anybody can tie one up, get kinky with it. Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get it on our rotisserie spit. We're going to slide this off and we're going to go right up through the cavity right here. Just like that. And I've already cleaned this thing up and rinsed it off, got all the giblets out. Now then, just get it stuck on there like that. Now we're going to slide this end on. Just like this. Get it pushed up in there, and we're going to tighten this side up. All right. Now then, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to get this pan over here right here. And we're just going to set it right on top of it, just like that. Get this out of the way. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to spray this down real good. Start with the back. Just using cooking spray. You can use regular cooking oil if you want to, anything you want to use on it. Now, what I have here is I have some of the Our Butts Are Smoking Honey Chipotle Rub. This stuff is fantastic. You really need to try this. And I'm just going to put a good coat on it. Just like that. And we're going to get all, get it coated on all the sides. All right, now we're going to turn this over. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the breast side. It's going to get a good coat everywhere on this. 
And we'll be doing a glaze on this before we get through with it, but this is a good base to start with. Get this end part right here. Never hurts to get every little nook and cranny. All right. Now we got it all seasoned up like I want it. Turn this over, we're gonna just leave it sit right here. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get our heater running. We're gonna be, our gas grill going. We're gonna be running this about between 400 and 450 degrees. It's probably gonna take us an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And I'm gonna be using a smoke tube in it with some apple pellets gonna give it a real good smoky flavor. So let me go out and get that going and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it running right at 400. Got our smoke tube going. Okay, I had to take the racks out of it. That's okay. Man, that's looking good. Okay, it's been a half hour. Man, it's looking good. Don't you look at this baby. Boy, it's looking good. Won't be long. We'll be basting this baby. Smoking her up. Yeah. All right. We'll just let her keep going for right now. Okay, it's been another 30 minutes. Let's take a look at her. Let's check the temperature. Okay, we're right there close to 160. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna sauce this baby up. All right, we'll let it go about another 15 minutes. We'll be ready to eat. Okay. Our chicken is done. Let's turn this baby off. Now, that barbecue sauce did caramelize on it. Get this in the house and get it ready to go. Okay, we just pulled it off. We're just going to cover this with aluminum foil. Like that. And we're going to let it rest about 15 minutes. And after it rests, we'll be back. We're going to finish this up and we're going to eat this baby. Okay, our chicken is done, but before we start cutting it up and tearing into this thing, let's kind of cover what we did. This was our first cook on our Monument Gas Grill. I'm really impressed with that grill. It's got 723 square inches of total 
total square inches of cooking space. It'll run six, at 60,000 BTUs. It's all stainless steel. Man, running two burners on high with the rotisserie that comes with it, it held 400 degrees perfect. I mean, I was able to sustain it at 400 degrees, and it's like minus two degrees outside right now. I did it in the garage. I had to pull it in the garage because we've got like 15 inches of snow on the ground. But that grill did a fantastic job. I'm really impressed with it. It's got the light, so if you're cooking at night, it's got the side burner if you want to heat up, you know, sauces or anything while you're cooking. It's a great, it's a great deal on a gas grill. I was reserving my opinion of it till after I got through with this cook, but it worked fantastic. So now let's cover what we did here. Basically, we kept it real simple. We sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray. We put some our butts are smoking honey chipotle rub on it, which is a really good rub. I'll leave a link for that down in the bottom for you because that works really good on chicken and pork, especially on chicken and pork. Put it on our rotisserie that comes with the Monument Gas Grill. Run it about 400 degrees. It took about an hour and 20 minutes to get to an internal temperature of 165. We sauced it up with some barbecue sauce. Run it another 15 minutes. Let the sauce glaze real good. Brought it in. Covered it with aluminum foil. Let it rest 15 minutes. We're ready to go. You can't get much easier than that. That's a simple, easy, fantastic rotisserie chicken right there. So I'm fixing to start cutting this. Look at that. It just pulls right apart. Yeah, buddy. Man, look at that. Is that not good or what? I'm gonna take me this piece right here. Got some barbecue sauce on it. It's still dripping. Look at it dripping. This thing is juicy. You can't get much better than that. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, man. That is some good chicken right there. I'll be making this again. I wanna thank everybody that watches my videos. If you're new here, I hope I earned your subscription. Hit the subscription down at the bottom so you, you'll be updated whenever I come out with new videos. And for people that have been following me for a while, thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women that are serving in law enforcement and all of our first responders. And I want to send a thanks out to all the men and women serving in the military, active duty all around the world. And I want to send a special thanks out to all of our veterans too. They were willing to give up the ultimate sacrifice for this country. So until next time, thank you very much.